Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Welcome Friday. To Strawberry Moon. I'm Lulu. And I'm Mr. B. And we're bringing you some love, joy and positivity with our reborn family. And we have two Strawberry Moonkins today. One of them has been around a little while waiting for a home and one of them is brand new, custom made and he will be going off to his new mummy in Maryland on Monday. So, who do you have, Mr. B? I have a Juna today. That's right, you have a Juna Mary, and she's so gorgeous, aren't she? She is. Darling? And she's a delicate little thing. She's 19 inches long, and she weighs six pounds, four ounces. And she has, she's kind of almost a, a exotic looking. Um, she is the Ming sculpt by Pat Sechrist. Now, I was expecting her, because of her name, to look kind of um, oriental. But although she's pretty and delicate, she doesn't exactly look oriental. But the way I've done her, she looks exotic. She has shiny black hair and um, dark tiger brown eyes. And she's wearing this beautiful mayoral outfit, which is a diaphanous white dress with shiny red cherries on it and matching bloomers and um, white tights and she's very beautiful mm. she's very beautiful she's one of my favorites actually so she gets lots of cuddles and here is uh, a bigger three month size baby and he was actually just born this morning i just uh, made him this morning and he's just so gorgeous i just love this size of baby um and he uh, is the Charlie Kit by Pat Sechrist. And um, he uh, weighs nine pounds, three ounces. He's 23 inches long. And he has dazzling blue eyes and red curly hair. And you can't really see the curls if unless I lean him forward. He's got these kind of Luke Skywalker curls on the back of his head. And he's got the most sick, glossy hair. I love his hair. Because that's what his mummy asked for. Um, his name is Waycross Reed, after the little boy in the Granny Reed Mysteries. Uh, apparently she likes Waycross and she wanted a baby Waycross, so that's who she's having. And I'm rather in love with this child, I have to say. He's just such a little chub monster. And he's so... He is, isn't he? He's just got such a lovely, cheeky face. He's cheeky, Charlie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have another of this kit who's got dark hair, um, and I've just sold him. He'll be going out to Ohio sometime next week. So the Moonkins are going abroad, and they're getting all over the place. They're getting everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so come and have cuddles, beautiful boy. And he's wearing, uh, now I forget what colour this is. Can you tell it's us? very what? pale blue mm. and it's got little red stripes on the arms, red buttons and a little dinosaur with a red button on his back on each side. It's so cool. And it says Rawsome. Rawsome. <laughs> I had this one and it's got a Peter Pan, Peter Pan collar, which I really, uh, you know me and Peter Pan collars and short sleeves. And then what colour trousers? Uh, again, pale blue, and I love the pockets. Yeah. They're really cool. And I love this crisp, cool cotton that they're in. So much baby stuff is in Jersey. Um, but the, this, these trousers are in lovely, crisp, cool cotton. And uh, I got this outfit from Baby Prem because I, I, I thought that Waycross would look really nice in this outfit. Because... Um, his mummy explained to me what his character was like and i just thought that the way she described him to me it would come oh, you just bump me with your head you just bump me no. with your head shall i bite your nose off shall i bite your nose off um i thought that it would really suit his character this outfit so uh i would normally dress my babies in designer but this is a lovely outfit and I kept his little feetsies bare because it's so warm at the moment so I thought he'd be more comfortable without socks and I've kept his little fat feet bare so that you can actually 
see them and feel them and they're so cute so cute so how's everybody been doing um lockdown is I know hitting everybody hard and in fact I probably look a bit demented at the moment to you because I've got these <laughs> daft butterflies in my hair um my fringe is getting so long that it is falling all in my eyes poor Mr B is you're feeling awful aren't you Chris? it's not so good no 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 because we can't obviously we can't get to any hairdressers um I can't cope with my fa hair falling in my face. And I thought, I've got to do something. What can I do? I've got to find some hair slides. And the only ones I had belonged to Lacey and Daffy. And they were these um, butterflies. So I had to use them. And the first time my carer saw me put these in, she said, what? You're not really going to wear those. I said, I've got to. I've got nothing else. Uh, at least they're pink. <laughs> I think they look adorable. <laughs> So, um, I can't help it. Needs must, you know. Um, but apart from that, we're coping. I mean, really, um, I know it hits people who live alone very hard, this whole lockdown thing. And obviously not being able to get out and do things, not, you know, being able to see people is, is, is hard. But really, um, it's not hitting us too badly. We're on the dream ticket because you haven't got to go anywhere. I haven't got to go anywhere. Uh, lots of uh, work-related problems, but I don't have to go anywhere. I can stay here and try and solve them. <laughs> mm. And it's, you know, given us time to be with each other and, mm. you know, spend time together. So, you know, it could be a heck of a lot worse. Definitely. It could be a heck of a lot worse. You know, we're taking all the precautions we need to take and, uh, you know, and I still have things to do. I've got a few orders to fulfil and actually... Uh, one really nice thing that's happened. Um, I have the opportunity to um, make another child doll. Um, basically, there was a, a, a bit of a, a mess up and I've got a child doll kit, uh, an Apple Valley child doll kit, obviously, that I didn't expect to have come free. So I have uh, a mixed race child doll uh, with like a, a mocha skin tone and she's got golden hazel eyes um, and I don't know if anybody's ever going to want her uh, but it wasn't I know this sounds so weird I know the dolls are not real but the way I see it, it wasn't the doll's fault she didn't ask to be sent over here so I'm going to make her I'm going to make her beautiful um, I've been reading up on uh, mixed race children's colouring and some mixed race children with the skin tone that my doll has can have can have fair hair. So I'm actually going to give her fair hair because I knew that if she had dark, my hair was dark, is dark now. <laughs> and I can never bond properly with dark haired people. I don't know why, dark haired dolls. I don't know why. Um, but if she stays here and I just, I just won't bond properly with a dark. It's nothing to do with mixed race. That's not the thing. It's dark hair. I just don't bond well with dark hair. So I thought I'll do fair hair and it'll look gorgeous. It'll look really unique. So we'll see how it works. And uh, you're going to do that Sunday? I should be doing it Sunday. I'm hoping. Uh, if, I, if everything's okay, I've got to get my pay jobs out of the way first. So I've done this one, I've got two more to do, and I want to get those done first, and then, all being well, Sunday, I can do the, the little girl. I've got everything ready. So, yeah, exciting times. <laughs> I'm dying, I'm absolutely, her clothes came today. So I've got really, rear seen them, haven't you? Really? Oh, I do, and they are lush. They mm. are lush. I've got really funky clothes for her. So, you might get to see her next week. You might get to see her. I think that's about all we have today, isn't it? I think that's about all, yes, yeah. Things we'll are ticking back along. with Lacey on Sunday. We've got something really cute to oh, show Oh, yes. We've got something really cute. So, do join us for that if you possibly can. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And enjoy your babies. And, and 
Let's be good to each other. Bye-bye.